Hi again and welcome to part 5 of our web development series. In this part we're going to create tables in our database and populate them with data. So let's so make sure you're in PHP my admin which remember you can access by going to localhost forward slash PHP my admin. Then make sure you're in your database and then in the sidebar click create table. So it brings up this form. So let's create the makes table or the brands. So I'm going to call it makes. Then you see we have columns here. So let's create in the first column we're going to call it ID. So this is the column name. It's going to be type int. Don't worry about length. The only thing we need to worry about is this index. It must be a primary index and must also increment. So what we mean by primary index is we mean it's unique and it cannot be repeated. And so this number, which we set to awk to increment, so we don't need to worry about the value, will automatically it cannot be repeated. There cannot be two duplicates of the number. And then the second one we're just going to call name. And it's going to be a varchar which is basically text and it's going I've never heard of a phone brand that's longer than 15 characters so we're just going to make it 15 okay for the max length and you can you don't need to worry about anything else so if you scroll down to the bottom of the page you'll see a save button you just have to click it and we've created a table makes as you can see here in the sidebar so that's cool let's go to our makes table and let's go add some data so to add data we can go insert go to the insert tab here and you'll see we have a bunch of blocks here so I want to insert five makes so if you go down here to continue insertion with select five because I have four makes which I'm going to add so we'll just go with five um, blocks so our first block, remember we don't have to worry about the ID because it's auto incremented. So we just need to set the name to Samsung. Okay. The next one we'll set to Sony. The next one we'll set to Apple. And the next one we'll set to Blackberry. And you'll see we have a blank block here. Don't worry about it because it's blank. The PHP my admin will ignore it. So once you've set those four makes, just go down to this block here and click go. And you'll see it says four rows inserted. If we go to the browse tab, you can see our four makes that we added. Okay, so that's cool. So we've added in our makes. Now we need to add in our models. So go to the sidebar again and click create table. And let's call it models. The first column will again be an ID. We will set the same attributes, so index, primary index, and auto increment. Then we want three columns for this because one's going to store the ID, one's going to store the make, and one's going to store the model. Now we already have a database make, so I'm going to do something. I'll explain it, it'll become clearer later on. But I'm going to make an, another column called make underscore id. That's our second column. It's going to be it's going to be an int, and it's we it's just going to be an int. We don't need to change any properties. Then we want to add another column. So scroll to the bottom, and then we, there where it says add one columns, click go, and you'll see we have an extra column. Now set this column's name to name the type to varchar for text and I think 25 is safe for a phone name length and yeah so let's go click save and now you'll see in the sidebar we have a models table so if we click there you'll see our three columns now we just need to insert some data so let's go insert now one thing to note before you insert, you know here in makes we referenced we created IDs 1, 2, 3 and 4. 
If we go to models, you'll see I made a make ID. And so if it's a Samsung phone which has a ID of 1, make ID will be 1. Okay? So it's just the number that corresponds to the ID of the make and makes table. So <clears throat> when we're inserting data, we'll go insert. Let's insert all our Samsung phones. So our make ID would be 1 for Samsung because Samsung was 1 in our makes table. Let's go add in the Galaxy S3. Then we want to insert another Samsung phone. So let's insert the let's do the Galaxy S4. And I'm going to insert five phones for each make. So just go down here to continue insertion with 20 because we have four makes. Another Samsung phone, and this will be the Galaxy Tab. Oops, sorry, Galaxy. C tab 4 then another Samsung so it's one still and it will be the Galaxy Ace 2 another one Samsung so it's still one and this will be the Galaxy S5 so now we have five Samsung so let's go over to Sony which is two so we'll go two for make ID and then we'll type in Xperia M2 let's do another phone let's do the Xperia Z1 another one let's do the Xperia T another Sony let's do the Xperia Tablet Z another Sony and let's do the Xperia L and that's our five Sony phones now the next one is Apple and that has an ID of 3 so our make ID would now be equal to 3 now our name let's do the iPhone 4 still 3 because it's still an Apple our iPhone 4s 3 iPhone 5 again 3 iPhone 5s Again, another Apple, so it's still Make ID 3, iPhone 5C. Okay. And let's finally go and add in our Blackberries. So, our Blackberries, I have Blackberry has an ID of 4. So, we'll set Make ID to 4. And the name will be the Torch 9800. Let's create another one, make ID 4, name to be style 9670. Another one, and it will be the Q10. Another will be the Z10. And then let's add in our last phone, which is the Storm 9530. Okay, and that's all our data we want to insert. So go to the bottom of the page and in the block click go. Now it should say 20 rows inserted and if we go to browse we can see 20 new models inserted with the make ID next to it. So that's all for this this part and in the next so so in the next part we'll be creating PHP scripts to fetch the data from the databases and so that the JavaScript can get it to load into the HTML. So I'll see you in the next part.